Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and a retirement worth having. And when I bring in these broadcasts early in the morning, I'm still young. And that's the way it goes. But what we're talking about today is women. And there are women with codependency issues. Now, if you don't know what codependency is, please look it up. If you're not sure if you have it, please read Melody Beatty. She has a great book on codependent no more and a couple other types of titles like it from the 80s. They're easy, quick reads, and you can quickly assess yourself to figure out whether you've got some sort of issue with anything with regard to relationships. Because codependency is more than just an alcohol addiction. Codependency is more than a drug dependency. And codependency is more than a sexual capability. And we see that all the time in HBO shows. They push on those things to show society what assholes can be like. But here's the deal. There are drama queens in the world. And they go from creating one drama to the next. They love players. And a player likes to play with a pretty girl. But then the player can't handle the responsibility once he's landed her. And he openly then has a bunch of kids that he's not really totally crazy about because he keeps playing with players. You see, there was a fella in one of my network marketing organizations who produced eight children with his wife. And then he lost his wife. She died. Or so he says in his story. Maybe she just left because she couldn't handle it anymore. Or maybe he killed her because he couldn't stand her anymore. I don't know. Everybody's story is different, and people lie in America every day. At least that's what someone just said on a TED Talk. But that's not my point. My point is that in life, we have to decide what we want God above to see about our life. Are we the girl that wants to walk in a place late to make an entrance, leave a little early so people are wishing we didn't go and we were staying? And are we the ones who really recognize who God puts in our life to change our life, to improve our life? to keep us in the light of God's life. You see, in the light of God's light, or God's house, is different than in the light of a man. You can be in the light of a man in your mind, but he may be shedding his light on other people, other women, all the time. You see, someone who is loyal and true will not automatically look at you in a way that's inappropriate when he's in a business setting. But what we know about most men is that we prowl. We do observe the different lines of everyone. But when we talk about lifelines, when we talk about life forces, when we talk about life changes, when we talk about life transitions, we are talking about the men and women who impact our life and change our life either for the better or for the worse. A person who just gets out of a relationship in divorce that takes years to conclude, you have to wonder which of the partners, the man or the woman, is the drama queen, or are they both? And they just want to win every time on the scene. You see, someone who doesn't want to let go of a partner will have things last forever. But the people around them, the people studying them, the people preying on them, the people that are profiling them, will do a lot of things to harm them in the community. And then that individual will usually blame the one who's not doing anything to harm them at all. Because other people around them, the fags around them, the dykes around them, the gays around them, the heterosexuals around them will interfere with them and their rights to choose. 